9.4 number 40, you're asked to find the interval of convergence and the uh, sum of the series as a function of x. Okay, so whatever is being taken to the nth power, which is this quantity right there, has to be, uh, absolute value of it has to be less than 1. Um, in order for it to converge, I can multiply both sides by 2, so it's a sine x uh, less than 2. So we have two inequalities there. We can say sine x is less than 2 and the opposite of sine x is less than 2. Solving those two inequalities, well, where is sine x less than 2? All right, so um, I think, well, we know that sine, the graph of sine x, us, um, it oscillates between negative 1 and 1. It'll always be less than 2. Okay, so that would be our real numbers for this um, inequality here. Looking at this one, it's got to meet both of them in order for it to be the interval of convergence. If I divide by negative 1, I get sine x is greater than negative 2. So where is sine x greater than negative 2? Negative 2 is down here, so it's always greater than negative 2. So the intersection of these two intervals is going to be all real numbers. So the interval would be greater than negative infinity, less than infinity, or infinity, negative infinity to infinity. Uh, sum is a function of x. We use our initial. Uh, so I plug in 0. So I get anything to the 0 is 1. So it's 1 over 1 minus r, which is whatever you're taking to the nth power. So it's sine x over 2. And then, and that's our answer. Simplifying, I could multiply the top and bottom by 2. So I get 2 over 2. That's the sum of all of them in an infinite geometric series.